morning, it's 1.54 a.m. Looks like everybody took a sh uh, shellacking. Let's see our favorite trader. What is he doing here on Mystery Trader? 23.73? Well, actually, yeah, yeah, it is him. 23.73, and he's over here. Look at this. Well, is it a coincidence? Wasn't that trade up in, uh, in the high 57s? It's below 57. Well, if this trade's a legitimate trade, like Coinbase told me, how come it wasn't sold before this morning's dump? He was looking to buy it there. Why is it still there? Why is the trade still there, Coinbase? Why is it still there? If it's a you told me every day these trades go up, it's a legitimate trade. If it's a legitimate trade, he had this up there yesterday at like... Fifty-seven, fifty-eight dollars. Why didn't he sell it? Well, no, what? I'm sorry. Why didn't he buy it? Because you know why, Coinbase Pro? Because he has no intention of buying the coin. This is a a buy wall and a sell wall of equal size. Now that now, now it's G twenty-three seventy-three, twenty-three seventy-three eleven. There might be a little trade better than there for three. On top or underneath that trade. But over here you can see it. It looks like there's a little trade that's probably embedded in there. Because it should be 23.73.11. Okay. And they move these walls up and down. Now we know we seen this one yesterday. We had an intention to buy that coin. They hit his price. Okay. We've seen it at 57 as high as $58. How come he didn't buy anything? It hit his price. Because you know why? It's a fake trade. It, he'll never buy anything with that trade. And he'll never sell anything with this. He uses it to manipulate the market. Now look, you notice these two trades are down? Look at the price. How do you think he moves the price? Gets gets it to dump. He moves this up and down. These two trades up and down. You just lost money this morning. Do the price manipulation. Let's go take a look at BTC. Below 6,500. Now, how'd that happen? The pe people who are all tapped out of coin. Most of the people I know that are small to mid-cap traders have no coin left to sell. They're out of the market. How did this get down to 64.61? Why is every single coin on this book following the same pattern look every single coin is following the same pattern the same buys at the same time same time because I could tell you why this market is rigged from top to bottom, okay, when you have different commodities, Ethereum is different from Bitcoin, Litecoin is different from Ethereum, Litecoin is different than Bitcoin, ETC is different than all the others, they have different I would have to say it, uh, people of interest behind them. There's different market sizes of people investing in this coin. Yet, every single one of them follows the same pattern. Some people who like Ethereum hate ETC. That's that's a known quantity in this kind of market. ETC big holders don't like ETH because it uh, the fork. Remember, the ETC was is it was left behind because they they uh, forked Ethereum off of it, and people figure the ETC is classic is the original Ethereum. They don't want nothing to do with ETH. You have a different fan base, but yet the market follows everything the same way. Everything's the same. It's being manipulated. Look at this. Look at this buy pressure. Now, how could there be that much buy pressure? Look where the wall is. The biggest, the biggest order is on the buy side. 
Yet over here, it reflects this huge uh, buy pressure. Where, where is that from? I mean, huge sell pressure. Where is that coming from? That's a false signal right there. Now they're going to try, they're trying for 450 again. I've never seen a market this manipulated in my life. Oh, there's no market manipulation. We all seen this trade yesterday. It was in, as high as fifty-eight dollars. Can I just say cancel scan? Cancel. These things, they, they insist on doing things the wrong way. You see what they've done? This market is 100% manipulated from top to bottom. To say this is manipulating is really an understatement. mess what a mess well license the thief we're not regulated when they said they're not regulated that's the dinner bell for every scammer manipulator crook in the universe to basically come to our exchange we're not regulated you can do whatever you want but don't worry, in the trade rules, we'll put in that market manipulation strictly prohibited. And then you can come in and just rob everybody because they actually believe that we're going to prohibit manipulation trades. And they don't. And it's a proven fact. They have all the documents. I got their global investigator telling me, well, here's the proof that the market's manipulated. We'll go give them the Captain Crunch or some other agency. I don't have the time to be dealing with your silly little game. Hundreds of millions of dollars are stolen, and it's a silly little game. They're all, they're all in on it. I'm telling you, they're all in on it. If the head of global investigations, now I got an email from him. I was told by the phone staff, look, if they're doing an investigation, the only way you can send the, the file that, that we, they did an investigation, there they go, they got their 450. Fuckers. I really can't stand these bastards anymore. I really can. I really can't stand them no more. They got their 450. The little guy is just... Look at this, not even... Look, they, they won't stop. The little guy, man, we get shit on all the fucking time. We get shit all over on, all over us, all the time. They just took a big fucking crack right on you. This manipulation. Everybody knows this is manipulation. This is just total bullshit. Well, they got you. They took, they triggered all your stop losses and they're taking all your coin. And they're giving you less cash than what you paid for it. That's manipulation. That's how you're being ripped off when you use a stop loss. Look at this. Any gain they have, they just wiped out and they took some from the whole month. And everything follows the same pattern if you look at the graphs. That's a pure indicator that the whole market is rigged. At least on Coinbase Pro, it's rigged. There's a bot in here trading, and it trades all the coin in the same way. You Even if you variate from Bitcoin to another coin, or any coin, you try to get away from, like, 
away from this. You, you, you can't. You can't. Look. It's the same everywhere. Three fifty here, two here, this is manipulation, so now when you wake up, your cash, you see, you're really not going to complain, you see, these guys know this, because you only took two or three percent loss, but when you do it for every coin, and you do it with so many coins, you're going to make millions off of one dump off of this. And it's obvious, it's obvious that this is on one, on one bot that's doing this because they follow the same pattern. So it has to be coming from one source. Now I'm trying to sell some Bitcoin at 67, which is the next... Uh, the next thing I thought it was going to retrace after this, oh, right about here, it looked like it was going to retrace to maybe 6,700. I, I didn't expect it to stay there, but I figured it hit because the RSI was low. Nope. Nope. They're not getting my coin for cheap. That'll stay up there forever. It'll stay up there when I get my money back from the lawsuit, then you can freaking have it. That's when you'll get it. When I see stuff like this, they, and they throw it in your face, and I've been telling them this market's been manipulated since December, no, September, when I first came in, I came into this market around, I started actively trading in, in November, and I made 4000 into $27,000. So I, that was my first attempt. So I went back in. Figuring it was going to go up higher. I looked at the RSI. I said, even if it plunges down, it'll bounce back up. And then, you know, I can get rid of it. For 10 months, a straight plunge, and that still continues. We hit the low of $48 on Litecoin, right? It seems to like 57 but this is highly unusual that every coin, this would be like if you go into, um, now there's 1,800 coin, right? No, no, I think there's some closer to 2,000. And then you go and look at every single coin and you see it follows the same pattern. That's like going to the stock market. Well, Johnson & Johnson who makes hygiene care products, and IBM stock all follow the same pattern. Okay? Now all these coins are different. Even though they did that everything's digitally uh, uh, cryptified, we'll say. Doesn't change that they are all different. Bitcoin's different from Litecoin. Even though it's a clone. It, it, you might want to think of it as a uh, Coke versus Pepsi. Okay? the same product but they're two different brands there's people that like coke there's people that like pepsi and it's uh who likes if they like coke more coke's going to benefit from having a a larger a consumer base and of course they're going to make more money okay that's that's the, what you see i'm explaining this is economics of the, of the brand now, when Coke and Pepsi, you go onto the market and you see they're following the same trend. You could see, or Schweppes, whoever owns Schweppes and all these different drink companies. If you would go on in all of a sudden and see them, all the market, all of these different uh, soda companies, and their stocks was following the same pattern, every trader on NASDAQ would say, manipulation. That's what's happening to it. It's following the same bot program. They're all on the same bot program. They're all being manipulated. Now, everybody got called what I called scalping. They know you set your, um, 
your stop loss. Three percent, most cases three to five percent, right? They know this. So what do they do? They wait until let's see, we're in the United States. That's our market. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm sorry. Scalpel. None of them are awake. When they wake up in the morning, your coin's gone and your cash has been reduced by 3%. Why? Because they got it. But before you uh, wake up 6 o'clock in the morning, this will do a full retracement back up to this price. And you won't even know what the fuck happened until you look at the graph. The first thing you're going to think is, oh, my coin is gone. Somebody hacked my account. The second thing you go, let's go in to the market, see what happened. You got cash, it's 3% low. They triggered your stop loss and they scalped you. But don't worry, they'll sell you your coin at 6600 That's what they do. That's what market manipulators do. They buy low, they sell high, and they're going to sell it back to you. You know, now, on the subject of Coinbase, with their volumes declining, they're going to look to blame this on somebody. And they were hinting, you didn't put this on social to Virginia. He didn't put this on social media. So what if I did? What are you, you going to do? Tell, tell people well, what he put up there and you see in front, of your, in front of your face and he's narrating, don't believe it? He's slandering us? You really think people are going to fall for that? You could take me to court. You're a judge. Look, the market's manipulated and I just pointed it out. Uh, I said I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not really responsible. It's just my opinion. And I'll say it again. It's my opinion. Now, though my opinion carries more weight because I am more, uh, I possess the capability of explaining it in layman's terms of what's going on. And people, after investigating themselves and forming their own collusion, have come to the same view that I have, the same perspective, the same opinion. We're not telling anybody to go out and buy coin, but we're, sh with, but we're seeing unusual trading activity. We're noting it over a period, a long time period. I've been talking about this since May. Okay, It's October now, and the same activity has been occurring every week since May. So based on observing, scientific method, observing and noting, the results of what's going on in this trade book, following the pattern, you can come up with a theory. That's number one, that scientific method. Then after you come up with the theory, if you watch it repetitively over a long time, you can come up with a, your theory is then taken as it comes out as a, a bona fide fact and it comes out to the conclusion of the experiment. And that's what I did. Now, we, I watched it. Okay, it's like saying, well, the sun comes up at 6 a.m. Uh, uh, of this time in the morning every day during this month or around this time in the morning. And somebody goes, prove it to me. Okay, so from the first of the month, I'm going to go out there and record the sun coming up at this time. You go. The sun comes up. Then he goes, well, uh, what other, other thing? And the sun goes down at this time. You're on a 24-hour cycle. You want to prove there's a 24-hour cycle. I'm going to film the sun coming up. Film the sun going down. You look at the times. The sun up and sun down. It's 24 hours. I did it for 30 days. That was a theory of mine. I went out and got conclusive evidence. Filmed the sun coming up and coming down. You look at all the videos. You look at the time. The sun came up to went it down. It's 24 hours. Well, not 24 hours, 12 hours. And then we got 12 hours of night. 
other words, you're able to prove the sun comes up and comes down at a certain time during the day by filming. Evidence. 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 237311. Evidence. That's the sun right there in your face. Here's the other one. It's a little off because there's something embedded. If I'm showing you on video, hey, so and so robbed your house. Well, what made you? Which, what made you say that? I filmed him coming in and out of your house with your stuff and loading it into his car and driving off to the pawn shop. <laughs> I followed him to the pawn shop. Here you go. Go ask the guy in the porn store. Did he sell you that stuff? Yeah, he did. You feel me? It's a it's a close open and closed case. It's a it's not it's no longer theory if it's based on evidence. Now it's a theory that uh, that these are coin based trades. I'll agree with you on that much. But it is conclusive after multiple uh, videos and of noting when, if, and how they're doing this, and they have over months the trade manipulation occurring, and they have video evidence of months of them doing it. I know the pattern. Every week, he changes the market size of those two walls to the same identical market size, but those walls will be back there. I got that. I got him moving the price up and down using those two walls. I got that. That's something I observed. Scientific method. Observe and note. Observe and note. Then you come out the market. There's a theory that the market's being manipulated, which I was presented by my peers. That was not, that's what started me. I noticed that there was a loss. Everybody says, well, there has to be a loss for the reason. Me believe an unbeliever that that the market was that manipulated. I didn't believe him. I said, hey, look, guys, we've got to suck it up. You made a bad decision. We have to suck it up. Then one of my people, well, that's not how you, you, John, of all people should know. That's not how you, uh, if somebody makes a claim of manipulation, they're asking you to prove it or disprove it. You just can't say emotionally wise, I don't believe it. So what do you do? You start investigating. They said, okay, Charlie Lee manipulated Litecoin. Litecoin's manipulated. It's going down. It's being manipulated. Okay, well, what do you claim? Uh, I don't know. Okay, look, I'll look at it for you. No charge. Since I invest in Litecoin, I'll look at it and see if I incurred a loss on a manipulation. Then I started, okay, let's, the first thing you investigate if you want to see manipulation is sell and buy walls, okay? That's the most important aspect. A sell and buy wall controls volume. And if, and if there's going to be any way you're going to manipulate it. In this market, since I'm in New York, they don't have margin trading here. That's the obvious point of how you would manipulate something on Coinbase Pro if you're in New York. So the first thing I started noticing is we go immediately to the largest sell wall. Because I, I, going by that theory is based on they're always planting, manipulating Bitcoin by using the largest sell wall to get the price down. Okay, I caught on to that. So I said, well, if they're doing this descending chain sell wall over here, Bitcoin, you know, drop, dumping into the buy walls and placing up a huge uh, sell wall at the lowest, new lowest price. So I, I, that's manipulation right there. You can see it right there. So I look to see if it applied here by looking for where the biggest sell wall was. Well, I'm going to say, well, it's not manipulated. What I didn't realize was that they would use just a different method called kettling. And what I, how I caught on to that is I noticed in the book how come there's two walls of the same margin size, right? And they watched it all week, and the wall stayed there. They didn't buy or sell anything. Okay, that was the first. That's what attracted my attention. Now the next following week on a Tuesday, 
these walls came down. And I said, well, maybe it was just the one week trade that he didn't get fulfilled. Then the next following week, two a lot two two large walls came on both sides of the market. A large sell wall, the largest sell wall and the largest buy wall in the exposed market. And lo and behold, they were the same market size again. Though they were different than the market size of the previous week. Two new walls came up and they were the same market size, the same pattern as last week. So I noted that. Then every Tuesday, guess what kept happening? Those were neither bought nor sold. And then next week, they were taken down and two new walls came up. The same market size again stood up there exactly a week, Tuesday to Tuesday. And I recorded this repetitive problem. And nothing was bought or sold. They affected the volume on price on both sides. Okay. They went up and down and controlled the price. Nothing was bought or sold of any one of those walls. So when you follow that conclusion, that if a trade's up there and nothing is bought or sold and it's removed after a week and replaced by something else using the same pattern, those, in, in, in conclusion, it's no longer a theory if they keep doing it for, since May. Before that, they were doing it. I noticed it. So now that they, they uh, it's, it's manipulation. And it's coming from one source because they use the same pattern. It's it's like a serial killer. How do you know if it's the same serial killer? They keep following the same pattern. This is a serial manipulator. He keeps following the same pattern. He ditches his bloody clothes. He puts on fresh clothes. And he goes out on another killing spree. This is what changing the market size is compared to. Okay, now you'll notice, you'll see his trade is closer to this epicenter here. He's going to raise the price back up now. He scalped you, right? Now you're down 2 or 3%. You're, you're a normal trader. You put down your stop loss. You triggered your stop loss. Now you're all happy. I'm only down 2 or 3%. Now let me get back in the bottom here. But by the, by the time you wake up, it's not going to be at the bottom here. It's going to be up here. You're going to buy back in. Maybe you'll buy up here. And then he'll do it to you again. He'll take 2 or 3% of your money. It's the slow bleed. That's by a thousand cuts. So in conclusion, if you see something that's repetitive and it, in science, if you do an experiment and, and the results keep coming out the same after you do the experiment a hundred times, somebody else does the experiment a hundred times, then another bunch, another person does the experiment a hundred times, and we all get the same results, we formulate a conclusion based on the fact of our observation. And based on numerous people's observations, we formulate the conclusion the market's manipulated. That's using the scientific method, the market's manipulated. If you don't believe the market is manipulated, you have to sit down, right? And you have to start observing. Picking out the patterns, coming out at the beginning and to an end constantly, and comparing the data from all of those day by day by day. I was doing it week by week by week, so that's how much time I invested in this. And week by week by week, it was the same conclusion. Then I'd show it to somebody else. Here's my data. Week by week by week, they came to the same conclusion. He gives it to another person. Week by week by week, he observes it. He comes to the same conclusion. Then we come together, 
as a group of experienced people in the market because we observed it and we formulate the conclusion that based on this evidence and this observation that the market is manipulated. This is adults I'm trying to figure out problems. That's how you do it. So then theory, theory comes and when you do that Theories turn into scientific facts. And then we're now we're at the point where it is a fact that this market is manipulated after multiple confirmations from multiple people. And that's just it. I don't get emotional about it. I, I don't like the idea that they're using this platform to steal from people. I'll get emotional about that. I, I find that disgusting and abhorrent. I don't think it's necessary to manipulate a market to make money. Just follow the trend, market trend of the, uh, the investors. Don't try to make the, uh, the investors follow your market trend. That's, that's why. That's why it's called manipulation. You're misleading people. You're robbing them. You're cheating them out of their shot at a fair and balanced market. And I think any exchange that does this or allows this to be done to their clients, they need to feel the harsh whip of reality. I think that, I, I think that since this is the largest exchange or one of the, in the United States, I think they need the, the CFTC and the SEC needs to come down extra hard on them to send a clear message to the other exchanges that if you follow the same route, you're going to come to the same conclusion. Scientific theory. Let me post this up.